Hey guys and girls, as you can see, I am playing the new Pokemon game. Just turn it down a bit. And we get a text message. Always the way. So as you can see, I am playing Pokemon Go. Been playing this for the last three days. And for what it is, it's pretty good. There's obviously a few things that uh, Niantic and the Pokemon company need to work on. But hey, for this particular release, I'm happy with it. So as... I've been requested by many, many people. I'm creating a video just to give you the basics on the game to help people that aren't too familiar with these type of games migrate into the game better and help them out. So basically, first things first is I'm going to go through and go through everything on the screen. So on the top right hand corner, you have a compass. You click on this compass, it will turn to the way you face. So as you can see, I'm currently spinning on the spot. And my character spins on the spot with me. And then when you press that button, your camera changes. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Pokeball. Bottom center of the screen. This is your menu button. So as you can see, top right hand corner you have settings. We'll click on that. And here's all your settings. So through here, if your device is running low. Or you want to try and squeeze every bit out of every percentage. You can go and turn off the music. Your sound effects, your vibration. And turn on battery saver which is default turned off so what we're going to do is we'll jump back out of that and we'll pop over to tips so as you can see the professor comes up on screen and basically gives you all you need to know so your pokestops and what to do your gyms and what to do how to battle and how to level up your own prestige your own gyms and how to jo dodge during battles so that's pretty simple so what we'll do is we'll move on to all the other menus. So the first one at the top we've got is Pokédex. So we'll click on that. And as you can see, Pokédex, Court 42, Scene 44. So all the ones that you've caught, obviously, come up in colour. All the ones you haven't seen are the numbers that are in between. And all the ones that you have seen but haven't caught come up in a greyed out box. So that's pretty simple. And if you go to the bottom, what I've noticed, it only goes to 140. So I don't know if they're going to change this with an update, but that leaves out your legendary Pokemon like your Zapdos, your Moltres, your Articuno, obviously your Mewtwo, and that. So uh, hopefully that will go through and uh, change that. So uh, what we'll do is we'll pop out of that and we'll go into the next one. So shop, this is where your microtransactions happen. So as you can see at the top, I have 40 Poke credits or Poke coins. And basically that will buy you nothing. <laughs> so, obviously, right to the bottom is the best place to start with this one. And as you can see, you can buy Poke Coins. $1.50 for 100 coins, and then 100 coins will give you 20 Poke Balls. Um, to be honest, this it's not a pay-to-win game. And the fact that these give you more space, you can hold more items, you can only buy basic Pokeballs at the moment. Um, yes, you can get lucky eggs that will level you up faster, gives you two times experience. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't, like, if you play hard at the game, you'll be just as good a pers as a person that goes buys all the extra stuff. So that's always good. So what we'll do is we'll pop over Pokemon. So as you can see, the Pokemon that I've got here, at the moment, it is from A to Z. So you see bottom right hand corner, we can click on this, and this can allow you to rearrange them. Nine times out of ten, it's normally set to recent. The two I normally use is A to Z, and then obviously combat, uh, combat power. Um, A to Z is handy to go through if you want to see if you have any double ups. The reason we're going through this is the next part I'm going to explain is basically how to level and get your Pokemon stronger. So as you can see, I have on the third row, three Eevees. If we go down a bit more, I have a Flareon. So we'll pop into the 251 Eevee. So above the Eevee, you can see the semicircle line that's going around. That re represents how far along he is processed in terms of power-wise. So basically, if he gets all the way down to the end, he's at his max power. With how Pokemon is set up, from what I can see, you can actually encounter many different types of Pokemon at different levels. For instance, let's go to CP. 
And we have two there. We have Ruby's Pidgey, who was my daughter's Pidgey that she caught herself. And you have my Pidgey Op that I normally use. So we'll click on Ruby's Pidgey, and you'll see basically where it is. And then we will go back, and we'll click on my Pidgey. And you see they're in the exact same spot. But yet her Pidgey is a bit stronger. So you can get Pokemon that do have a starting stronger attribute, which obviously makes them stronger when you evolve them. Which is cool. So you can always go and find a stronger version. So back to the A to Z. If we go back into the Eevee and we have a look. At the moment you see Eevee, his health, his type, his weight, his height. Stardust. Stardust is something you collect when you hatch Pokemon and catch Pokemon. And then obviously your candies vary between Pokemon. They're Pokemon specific. So at the moment I have 20 Eevee candies. I can use 1,000 Stardust points and one Eevee candy to level him up. Or, if I get enough Eevee candy, I can use 25 to evolve him. So the first Eevee I did turned into a Flareon, as you saw. I'm not too sure on how that is. I think that may be set up, being that Eevee's the only one in the current generation that has three different evolve types. But hey, we'll find that out later, and if I find out, I'll put an update video. So, the reason why you want to catch multiple so every time you catch one Pokemon, you will get three of its candy type. Then, when you go and use the transfer button at the bottom of the screen, this will then give you one every time. So what transfer is basically, well, in the game it says you send it to the professor, but basically it's like releasing it, you never get it back. But in exchange you get one of that candy type. And then that's how you build up your candy to evolve your Pokemon. And that's the easiest way. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop over to items and we'll go through the different items you get. So as you can see I've got 356 items out of 400. Potions, Super Potions, Revise, Pokeballs, Great Balls, Berries. Berries are good. They're good for those harder Pokemon. So you can actually throw a berry at them, they'll eat them and it makes it a little bit easier for you to catch them. Um, obviously camera and your incubators. So speaking of incubators, let's go across into eggs. So as you can see, I have 9 out of 9 eggs so far. Three of these eggs are currently sitting in incubators. So underneath these you have a kilometer range. So basically that means you've got to walk that kilometer to hatch the Pokemon. The reason I say walk is if you're traveling any faster than 20 kilometers from what I'm pretty sure I know, it won't count. So you can walk, skateboard, rollerblade, bike, but if you go in a car, it won't work unless you're traveling below 20 kilometers. And if you do that, you have a lot of, obviously, a lot of people beeping at you. So it's best just to take a walk, get on your bike, skate, either way, and it will unlock. So you get three different types. You get a 2 kilometer, a, three, a 5 kilometer, and a 10 kilometer. So the 2 kilometers are commons, the 5 kilometers are uncommons, and then basically the 10s are meant to be rare. I haven't hatched a 10, I've only hatched a 2 and 1 5 so far. First one was a Magic Cup, second one was a Mankey. So Mankey was the uncommon one, I haven't seen any in the wild, but it came out with I think 207 combat points, which is pretty good for straight out of the egg. So we'll pop that out, and we'll go through. So basically all you need to do to find a Pokemon, is the bottom right hand corner you see a list of Pokemon. So at the moment you've got a Bowsprout, a Pidgey, a Zubat, Poliwag, another Pidgey, a Weedle, always a Rattata, there's always a Rattata around, and another Zubat. So as you can see underneath them, you have three little feet or footprints. Basically, that will range from zero being they're about to pop up in front of you, to three being they're quite far away. This is a nice system because you can use this to track the particular Pokemon. So what we'll do is we're going to click on Poliwag, he is now at the bottom right hand corner of the screen and he has three feet marks next to him. So basically how this works is you walk in one direction, if he disappears off your Pokemon in the area you know he's not in that direction, you turn around and you walk back the other way. If you start walking towards him though, you will notice the, the footprints will reduce to two, to one, and then he will appear in front of you. So that's the easiest way to track the Pokemon. 
the best way to do it from what I know. And obviously if you know any other things, let me know. Also, something I forgot to mention is uh, your three starter Pokemon. So obviously you can get your Squirtle, your Charizard and your Bulbasaur. There is a way to get Pikachu. So basically what you can do is when you first start and you're prompted to select your starter Pokemon, the three Pokemon will pop up around you. It may take a while, but what you, what you need to do is you need to walk away from them and they will respawn in your next area. You do this three or four times and then the next time they spawn, Pikachu will also spawn with them. And then, then obviously you can choose Pikachu for your first starter Pokemon. This is a little thing that I found out, unfortunately, a little too late after I started. But hey, it's there. If you want to start all over again just to get Pikachu, that's fine. But from what I can tell and people that I've seen, you can still catch them in the wild. So yeah, that's the basics on how you get to go around and do you, what you need to do. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a message. And as always, hope you like, subscribe, and enjoyed the video. This is Pacboy26, signing out.